Switching topics now, joining me in the studio is Mirna Herzog, a world-renowned Brazilian-Israeli conductor and viola da gamba performer. Mirna actually was a founder and director of Brazil's first Baroque orchestra, Academia Antigua Proparte, until she immigrated to Israel to start Israel's very own multifaceted musical ensemble, which specializes in early music. Thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure. So I'm excited to hear a little bit about Viola de Gamba. Tell us about this. Uh, the Viola da Gamba is in fact a bowed guitar. Actually, you can see it there. I'm playing. You can see a long neck with frets, and the tuning is very similar to the guitar. The strings, instead of being tuned in, in fifths, like the violin or the cello, they are tuned in fourths with a third in the middle. And that enables one to play lots of chords. And this instrument was born in the Iberic Peninsula. And it came to the rest of Europe with the Jews, which were expelled in 1492, and brought to Italy this instrument. And the first ensembles in Italy all were Jewish. The, the players were Jewish, wow. had Jewish names. And from there, it spreads to the rest of Europe. It's an instrument So spread. is that what first attracted you to this instrument, the, the no, unique history behind it? No. Uh, actually, I always say I didn't choose the instrument. It chose me. When I first heard it played, I was I had I was twice already starting to play because people said, "Whoa, well, you're playing early music. You should play the gamba." They got me a gamba. I started, but I didn't know what it's possible to do. Then I went to a workshop in the states and I saw a person, Judy Davidoff, that I have the honor to be my friend until this very day. She's now 88 or 89. Mm -hmm. And when I saw her playing, I said, "That's what I want to play." Now, tell us a little bit about the Phoenix Orchestra and what makes it so unique. Uh, the fact is, I think we're the only ensemble in this country that plays from Middle Ages to classic early Romantic period. Wow. Uh, but each phase, we play with a different set of instruments. So for instance, we did the medieval opera, the play of Daniel. So I played the viel, uh, which is a medieval string instrument. We, and everyone played medieval instruments. And when we play Renaissance, it with Renaissance, Baroque, Baroque. And now the big novelty we're playing, uh, we became an orchestra. Uh, uh, many of my colleagues who have been playing Baroque instruments shifted to classical instruments, which are still different from the ones you're used to hear playing in the symphonic orchestras. They have a very unique sound. So we are doing a program of 19, early 19th century music with classical instruments, and this gives a unique taste. Now, I understand that you're going to be performing this year at the Abu Ghosh uh, Vocal Musical Festival. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, well, the festival in itself is fabulous. I love the festival, and I'm happy that my concert is at 11.30 in the morning on the 3rd of June, because then I can stay the whole day there and drink wine, uh, eat a little bit, see all oh, there's lots of music outside. It's, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful vicinity. And, and there are myself. lots of concerts, so all the concerts are always interesting because Hannah Tsur, who is the musical director of the festival, she's a very imaginative and creative person. I have a long association with the festival. Let me tell you, I myself would love to go and see you perform in this festival, so I'm going to be headed there myself. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.